Hi, I'm Connor. I'm Will. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And if you haven't seen our last video where we talked about the East helmets, definitely go watch that first. But in this video, we're going to talk about the West goalie helmet uh, masks. And uh, we had fun going through the last ones, and we, I'm not going to go through the whole spiel again, but goalies are unique people, and they, with their designs and stuff, uh, they're all different, and it's fun to talk about their designs and stuff. So, I've seen on... Some docu well, was documentary, but a, a sports break of some kind. It was on the CBC or some other channel where they went to a mask painter. Mm -hmm. They spent some time with someone whose job it is or hobby to paint masks for goalies. They probably all have their special artists that they use. Yeah, there's one guy who does it like almost all the time. Yeah, there's one guy, after, and I think he's in the prairie somewhere, maybe Manitoba or Saskatchewan. Oh, I Alberta. thought he was in Europe. Uh, there might be, well, I'm sure there's lots of them, but. What a great talent you must have to be able to come up with yeah. dozens of different... Because one goalie might have three or four different masks. Mm -hmm. And they all want to say something about their personality. They put their kids' names on there. They put a Bible verse on there. Whatever it is mm -hmm. that's important to them. And they get to see it. And it's just great. Yeah, and when you get traded last minute and you need a helmet, they can get it done like that. It's, yeah. it's impressive. It is, really. We're going to start off with uh, Anaheim. These should all be in alphabetical order for the most part alphabetical as far as abbreviations go <laughs> yeah um, so john gibson's the first mask that we're going to look at mm -hmm. and this is from 2017 i'm not sure if it's this season or last season but 2017 version of his helmet i honestly absolutely love it uh usually i'm not a huge fan of just black and white but that's it's a kind of a scratchy kind of feel uh you get hockey sticks on the side which has is the only color the rest is uh black and white they got the throwback logo on the top. Yeah. Giant thumbs up for me for this one. Not a huge fan of the logo to start with, so uh -huh. I guess that's going to take away from my appreciation of the mask. But Did you just say you don't like that logo? Right. I did. It's it's too cartoony. It's not serious. Hockey's oh. a serious sport. Oh. It's not a... It, hockey's not a game. It's the mighty... Okay? It's, it's not a game. Hockey's business. It's the mighty... It's the mighty ducks. I know. I know. Uh, okay, next up. This is Red O'Bear's. Oh, mask. yeah. This is so nice. I love that. You have an actual, it looks, it looks to be an actual photograph on the side. It's mm -hmm. not, but a uh, silhouette of a surfer. And it looks, I don't know if that's... It's a bridge of some kind. It's a pier. Yeah, so Santa Monica Pier. Yeah, or, I'm not sure if it's Santa Monica Pier, but it's, yeah. it's so nice. It's so unique. I yeah. absolutely adore this, this helmet. That's beautiful. It, I'm a photographer, so I... Yeah. I really appreciate this one. Very nice. Uh, a lot. So I like. Giant thumbs up for that one. I'm, I like that one. I All just right. want to make sure I miss. Okay, so this is Ryan Miller's oh, mask. Yeah. Bit of a similar feel here on the back where he's got uh, a lady holding a surfboard and it looks to be a kid. Maybe that's his wife and his uh, kid and maybe their dog. Looks to be a oh, right. little, little pug or something. Pooch there in the corner. Yeah. yeah. And on the front, it looks to be. A rendering of the oh, the the logo that you don't like, yeah. the mask with the holes in it and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's got a little bit of that going on in there. So yeah, I'm cool with that, just because yep. it's it's a better color match, I think, to uh, especially mm. a dark jersey. Yeah. All right, um, Anti Ranta mask in Arizona. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, uh, I don't know who that is. Who is that character? It's a, it's a Goofy dog? Goofy the dog? I don't, know. I, I don't know. I'm not sure, but he's wearing some kind of yeah, like old school military kind of hat. It looks to be a or like western style hat. It looks like he's on a wagon or something. Mm -hmm. a little, or the, like a train. It looks, the front of it looks like the front of a train. Maybe it's by dep the, by Deputy the Dog. I, I have no idea who it is. Do you see that in the chin though? That, that looks like the bottom of the front of a train? Yeah, the, like, what we used to call the cow catcher. The cow catcher, yeah. That's what it's called, cow catcher. Um, so the one train stopping in the middle of the prairie for a cow. Mm. They just have this thing and the cow plow. Cow's getting out of the way. Yeah. One way or the other. Um, but yeah, I, I do like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this is Aiden Hill's mask. Uh, so throw back to the logo on the top. The, yeah. I don't even know what you call it. There's a name for it, but I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
yeah, it's a, it's cool. And then the sides, he's got cacti, the cacti, the desert, and the mountains in the background. Uh, and then the new logo up front. I there's not a thing about this logo that I don't like. Yeah, I I love the entire thing. Yeah, so I like it too. Big thumbs up for this one. Yeah. Uh, next, I have Louis Domingue, who is not on Arizona anymore, but this was his helmet. Uh, I'm actually not a fan of this one. Mm -hmm. It's a bit too plain on the on the top there. I don't know how you feel, but... Same. Same? If it's going to yeah. be plain, then you may as well just put the real logo on it mm -hmm. from the team. and It's it's artsy, but not far enough. Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm at with that one. Um, next, Mike Smith. Uh... It was hard to find a, a f good photo of this, but it looks... I don't know if those are his kids or or what, but uh, some interesting <laughs> uh, people on there. I think it looks to be on a wagon, and they're, like, riding the wagon. Um, but obviously, Calgary, <laughs> Calgary and Alberta... Trying to imitate that little guy. Yeah. Calgary and Alberta in general is kind of the Texas of, of Canada, so... I understand the Western feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. You're not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. You just it. want to make fun of the kids. <laughs> Sorry, kids. You'll grow out of it. <laughs> <coughs> Obviously, you haven't. Uh, okay. John Gillies, mask here. Interesting that he chose white uh, for the for the most of the flame. Yeah portion here I would have thought maybe it would have been the opposite with the white on the top and the mm -hmm. the sides to be the the flames but uh, I would have liked to see a different different color of the white flame flames logo on the side and then the white background on the side because it's a bit hard to see the white flames I agree okay. and, and the red isn't a deep enough match yeah to it's, uniform it's, yeah it's a softier hmm. watered down red which I'm not crazy about I'll give it a hovering High five. Yeah. No hatred, just... Yeah, no hatred. Yeah. This is Corey Crawford's mask. Yeah, I knew you were going to like it. I love yeah. that. And I, I agree. It's really, really, really nice. The logo matches yep. the, the feathers. It's nice and dark with a dark cage. Yep. Not a white cage. Mm. And that is awesome. Yeah, I completely agree. I love it. love totally everything about it. Totally awesome. Totally awesome. Um, this is JF Bruebe's mask. Okay. I think maybe. Yeah. I really like this as, as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, we've got the colors of the jersey on the side that kind of goes through the logo. Mm -hmm. We've got pieces of uh, Chicago on the front of the mask, the buildings and stuff. Yeah. Um, third logo on the top. It's got a better mix of light and dark. It would probably work with both types of uniform, yeah, a home and away. Whereas the other one would. I think look out of place on an away jersey, mm. but but I, I like it. It's okay, not as much as the other one, but I, I like it. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, this is Anton Forsberg's mask. Oh yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of this one at all. No, it silver a, doesn't work. Yeah, oh, yeah, it feels a bit too speckly and busy. Yeah. Almost in a way. So I would agree. I would actually thumbs down. I would agree. Full thumbs down this one. Yeah. This is Joe Kanata's mask, and for Colorado, mm -hmm. not familiar with with him, but I figured I'd throw this in here. I have a feeling you're not gonna like this. I don't. I don't. Is it the? I like the top. I'm not crazy about the sides. Oh, you like the top? I thought you weren't gonna like the top. No, I it's actually. Like, yeah. No, I like the top. I don't mind that logo. I. I like the logo. I like the top. I like the top of the mountains. Yeah. Uh, and then it loses me completely after yeah. that. Now, I know there's a reason for it, and I see the ribbon on the other side, so there's mm -hmm. a cause at play there. Oh, I yeah, can't definitely. really read it from here. And that's that's all important, so I'm not I'm not uh, going to be critical. I think it says Ruby Strong or something like that. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's a reason, but... There's a reason, and I'm sure it's a very good reason. Yeah. So that's, that's cool. But we're here to <laughs> talk about artwork. Mm. This is Jonathan Bernier's mask he's always had that lion um face mm -hmm. on his on his helmets um i'm not a huge fan of this helmet, i'm not to either be honest no i'm um, not it's I, too busy here i feel like. yeah yeah running up the sides with all that mm. uh design is, is that supposed to be water or ice 
I don't, I'm not sure. Ice is technically water. <laughs> you know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, anyway. Liquid or solid? This is Simeon Varlamov's. Var Varlamov, whatever. Mm -hmm. I have a mask. Uh, I actually like this one. The colors don't match exactly yeah. to the to the team's colors, but they're close. I love that the mountains uh, are, is the separation between the burgundy and gray or silver, and then to the blue. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the lightning on the top. Well, that's the mountain tops. Yeah, but the, no, I know the lightning in the blue. Oh, there. I'm sorry. I thought you meant that. I don't think Colorado. I mean, they get their thunderstorms and stuff. Oh yeah, but, they, uh, they get their share. I, when right. I think of Colorado, I don't think of a very, yeah. I don't think lightning. Well, especially Florida. when there's another team in the league named the Lightning. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I like it better than the last one. Yep. Not a huge fan, but. All right. Yeah. Um, all right, Ben Bishop's mask. Um, I don't like this mask. At really? All. Nope. He's had the exact same, basically same design, on his mask for quite a, quite a while. Uh, it's almost that kind of outer glow kind of feel. Mm -hmm. I'm just not a fan of this because uh, it doesn't match the green that's on the jersey. It's a completely different green. So. Yeah, and maybe my color challenge doesn't pick that up, so therefore it doesn't become as much of a negative for me. But I don't mind it. I find it very distracting when I'm watching Dallas games and he's in it, and I see him wearing this helmet. Because it, it's, it's a total different shade of green than the jersey, and it just it, it actually bothers me a yeah. lot. <laughs> I like there's a D on both sides, but on one side it's the D with the star, the other side is the map of Texas. What? Nothing. I, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm not worried about it. Uh, okay, next is uh, Mike McKenna from Dallas. On the back, he looks like he's got a musician back there. I don't know who that specifically that is, uh, but that's pretty cool. Rock out. <laughs> the rest is pretty Dallas themed, obviously, mm -hmm. and uh, matches the colors. Yeah, I do like that. that. I like it. Yeah. I'm not crazy about the back. That's just kooky. <laughs> I like the back the best. Uh, this is Phil De Rosier. De Rosier. Yep. It's pretty white. Mm -hmm. It's almost got a bit of an evil feel to it, almost like a dripping blood kind of coming out of the logo, which I do like. And then on the on the back, he's got a manic kind of crazy person. I'm sure that's someone, but yeah. um, it's a little too black and white for me. It would look okay with the white jersey. I don't think mm -hmm. it would look very well with the dark jersey. But yeah. uh, moving on to Edmonton, this is Cam Talbot's. It looks like a pot mm -hmm. of boiling worms or something. What? It's terrible. It's Ghostbuster themed. It's terrible. What? It's this isn't. It, you got the Ghostbuster on the There's side. There's eyeballs. There. It looks like everything's not, not connected. It's supposed to look like that. It's. I want a yak. <laughs> and it looks like he's yakking out the front. You've got this. What looks like. Yeah. Vomitus coming down the front of his mask. I think it's gross. I don't even look at it anymore. And the teeth. The old. The old teeth. I can't even. I can't watch. You can't look at it. I can't watch. No. I'll wait till you change. Change screens. Wow. All right. Next up. Uh, Laurent Laura Boissois. Boissois. Yes. Yeah. Laurent Boissois. Um, oops. My bad. Uh, I like. I do too. I like. I, you're, he's got, I think, Gretzky mm -hmm. there in the drop of, of the logo. Yeah. Uh, the stripes going back, which continues down on the chin. Mm -hmm. He's got the Rogers place on the side down by the chin. Oh, yeah, and right. then the Rexall place on the other side. Oh, the to linking pay. the two yep. eras. So um, definitely yeah. big giant thumbs up for this one. I like, like. I like. Well done. Next up, Jonathan Quick. I think he used this mask last year and he's using it again this year. It's very in depth and detailed. It's got a very. Uh, it's just, I don't, I keep trying to think of the right word, but I can't. But obviously it's meant to look like a crown at the top. Uh, but it's pretty intricate. It looks like a, uh, 
I don't want to say Spartan helmet because that's not obviously Spartan. No, Spartan but it's it's, helmet, but it's a, a it's a knight. Yeah, it's a like knight's a, a knight's jousting mask. type helmet. They even got the the yeah, hinge yeah, yeah. where the top comes down. Mm. It's it's a very nice representation of yes. a medieval knight's helmet. Definitely, I if like the, it if that's what you want. Yeah, I do like it a lot. It's a, it feels yeah. a bit busy though. Yeah, but yeah. all right, next Jeff Zatkoff. Not a big fan of this one. Nope. It's too... No. I like the king. Funny. I like the crown part. Uh, and that's about all. This part down here reminds me of Felix Potvin's mask back in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. Some of you don't even know who that is, but... Felix the cat. Felix the cat, Potvin, yeah. yeah. Next up, Alex Stalock. Uh I like this quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And it looks to be a fly fisherman. And you can see the... Yeah. Coming down. It looks to be maybe a fish here. Right. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. But he looks like he's fly fishing mm -hmm. up there uh, inside the Minnesota Wild logo. Yeah. So, uh, I That's do like cool. this. Yeah. That's cool. It's cool. That's all right. Next up is Devin Dubnik's mask. This is probably my favorite mask in the entire league. I like it. Uh, it's so well done. It's near the top for me. It'd be top five. It's unbelievable. Look at the like the forest, the yeah. subtle forest in the front. And on the side, and you got a wolf or a beast or something. I don't know what that is yeah. on the top and on the side. And then down below, you've got this creepy fence with barbed wire and stuff. And it, I don't know what it says. Something about... Something are wild. Something or, are wild. Or, yeah. Uh, and then it just just the little things, like the actual cage itself. And the, the color front, blending. The, co the gradient yeah. of white to, yeah. to that cream color. Uh, and then the third logo on top. There's, there's not a thing I would change about this hel helmet. Well, there. I absolutely love it. That's that's high praise. High, high praise. praise. Yeah. Okay. Next up, Becca Rene. Real. I was it's almost impossible to find a, a, a photo of, of him here. So it's really hard to see. Yeah. But you can see elements of their logo in his mask. It looks like a tooth, coming down there. Right. So you know, like the face kind of on the side. Yeah. A little bit on the top. Hard to see. Hard to see. Yeah, but yeah. It, it looks like it matches. It, I, I think it would, yeah. It's busy, but probably yeah. appropriately busy. The logo itself is busy, so. This is uh, mm. Anders Lindback's helmet. Mm. I'm not a big fan of this. I, f I don't feel like it's the same yeah. shade of gold that the right. jersey Right, I would agree. I don't know if you can see that or not, <clears throat> you know, but yeah. uh, it's just a little bit too simple for me, so I would personally give this one a thumbs down but yeah I agree next up this is UC Saros this mask oh, yeah. uh, so on the right hand side you'll see a little character I think that's a Finnish he's he's from Finland it's a Finnish character he had this on his mask last year I can't remember what it represents but I know it's Finland related so that's what that is um, he's got some secondary and, and tertiary logos here with the NP on the side and then that Nashville pick thing that looks like a guitar pick because Nashville Predators uh, in Nashville, that big music city, obviously. Mm -hmm. And on the top, the front of the actual logo, which is cool. Um, so I, I personally do like this. Yeah. It's all right. A little busy for you? A little busy. And NP, when I see NP, I think, no problem. <laughs> I don't see it as Nashville Predators. I see it as the... The, uh, the shorthand. He's an NP. No problem. No problem. <laughs> uh, okay. And this is Pecorine's specific mask. Uh, I'm not sure what he wore this on, but it's a... Uh, Some uh, paying homage to Texas. Uh, yeah. Preds loves Texas, and it's got the uh, the Texas... Uh, I don't know flag. if this was... If this happened during the flooding and stuff in Houston oh. or was it, there was like a shooting or something like that. I can't remember it could be the flooding something like that yeah. but uh, good on him for like, he's not even doesn't even play for the Dallas Stars he's yeah. in Nashville uh, and he's not even from, he's not even American uh, and uh, he's doing that so nice. that's, that's awesome nice. he thumbs up for that yeah yeah cool helmet too next up Martin Jones Giant thumbs up. Really? Heck yeah. Look at the front down by the chin. It looks like the almost the top of the skate or the neck of a jersey a little bit. You've got that amazing shark logo there on the chin. You've got the secondary SJ 
on the side, on the top, you've got the logo back there, and then another secondary logo on the side. Love it. I don't hate, but I'm Love I'm it. not moved. Might be a little biased because this is my favorite logo in the NHL, yeah. and San Jose is my second favorite team, so uh, a little biased there. But. Okay, next up. This is Aaron Dell's mask. I think this might be from last year. It's got mm. a very Halloween-y type feel here. Yeah. It looks to be almost a pumpkin carving on the side. Okay. Uh, how you feel about that? Not feeling it. You're not feeling it? No, not feeling it. Sorry. Is it, well, how come we don't... What, what is it that you don't like? It's too... It looks like something you'd see at an amusement park or a Disney ride or some... Mm something it's it's too hockey's not a game <laughs> okay it's just too cartoony childlike all right next yeah. up uh jake allen's mask my boy jake allen you... i love what he's done with the mask i'm so biased though yeah that i'm this... not going to be giving a very good objective answer it's hard for us to talk about because on the back there's the, the Nebra- flag of New Brunswick, New Brunswick. <laughs> yeah yeah um, I've seen masks from him that I'd like better but I do like this mask on the side it says I got those St. Louis Blues I got those St. Louis Blues mm-hmm. and so on that must be is that Louis Armstrong be, Louis Armstrong it must be a song yeah um, yeah I I do like this helmet it's, I do too but I'm I'm trying to caution myself do I like it because of all the New Brunswick yeah uh, flavor there, or mm. do I like it just because I really like it? And I hopefully it's a little bit of both. But mm. I, whenever he plays, I'm always looking for the camera shot of the New Brunswick flag on the on back, back because he's representing his home province and he's proud of where he's from. And good for him. Every everyone should be proud of where they're from. Definitely. And Jake is the only New Brunswick player in the National Hockey League who's able to show that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as part of his uh, setup, there's a few other players from New Brunswick that have grace the NHL, but a goalie gets that special opportunity, That's right. and he's used it, and I love that. Mm. I have a question for you at the end of this video. Right. Remind me to ask you. Okay. Okay, next up, Carter Hutton. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about this? Well, same reason some of the others. I'm not a cartoon kind of guy, mm. and it's just too foolish. Yeah, I personally don't like this yeah. uh, helmet. It's I don't know what those things are on the side. I'm sure they're from something, but it almost looks like a Ren and Stimpy it does yeah, it really yeah. a little bit yeah um and <laughs> i find the text on the side is a bit distracting it's so big yeah on that other side yeah next up vancouver and this is uh andrews nelson how do you feel about this one not a fan why uh i'm wondering if it, i don't i'm not a fan either but i'm wondering if it's for the same reason i see the flintstones the flintstones the flintstones what the Flintstones cartoon had, has, and if you look at the Flintstones card, it's made of wood, and the wood looks like that. Like, it's got those <laughs> yeah. cracks in it, and it's, I think the Flintstones. I'm what is, sorry. what is it? What is, like, what is that? I do not know. That's why I don't like, That I don't could know. be another problem. <laughs> I don't know what it is, so. Yeah. That's my, yeah. I don't know. I like is. the colors. The colors, I think, totally match the jersey and stuff. Yeah. But I'm not a fan of whatever that is, just because I, I don't. I know. would agree. Yeah. yeah, I like the color part, but it's about all. This is his other mask. Um, on the back, I believe that's his son. I think I read about this. On the back, that's his son. He's got a gay pride flag on the back as well. Um, I think that's his wife when she was pregnant with her son. Oh, okay. On the other side there. Yeah. That is. Um, a bear. A bear. A I walking think he's, bear. he's either Swedish or Finnish, and that's a throwback to his country. I think he's Finnish. No, he's Swedish. Yeah, Swedish. And yeah. he's Swedish. Yeah, because he's got the Swedish crowns there next to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's a that's a country-related thing. Mm-hmm. It's got the Canucks logo there on the side. Um, the only thing I don't like is this, this has got the same shape of whatever that is on there, and it's glittery. Yeah. Other than that, I like the logo, or I like the helmet. Yeah. I'm okay with it. This is um, Jacob Markstrom's mask. Absolutely love this. Really? Have you seen him? Have you, like I, you don't get the chance to watch Vancouver much. Hardly it's ever. So late. Yeah, it's past my bedtime. I love it. It looks so great on the ice. <laughs> but to see the yeah. the hairline in the ears. Yeah, 
It's amazing. I would like to see it, <coughs> see what it looks like up close or, or on, you know, mm. in a close up shot on TV. I might like it, but it looks weird. <laughs> it's unnerving right now. It's tremendous. Love yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next up, this is Marc Andre Fleury's mask. Ooh. And I think you saw it maybe originally when he first wore it, but probably not up close. Like no, this. not up close. So there's so many elements in here that are. are I'm a huge fan yeah, of this mask. Awesome. I'm a huge fan. You've got the famous uh, Las Vegas sign there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's elements of so many different hotels here. You've got that. What's that with the pyramid one? Excalibur. No, that's not Excalibur. Oh, the Luxor. Sorry. Yeah, the Luxor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's some other ones there. You got the the New York. New York, New York, New York Statue of Liberty. One. And then the. Uh, uh, oh, crap! What's it called? Is that the Space Needle? Mm, no, it's like that's. Oh, that's the tower in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's got a roller coaster on top. Yes, yes. I can't remember the name of it. Darn it. Uh, anyways, there's lots of elements here. Lots going on there. Uh, pretty cool. But I really like it. Yep. Yeah, that's fantastic. Next up, Malcolm Subban. Nice. And so obviously we know everyone knows what happened in Las Vegas with the shootings and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's got Vegas Strong giant on the top of his head, which is really cool. He's got yeah. some silhouettes there, um, kind of like yeah. of uh, what Marc Andre Fleury had. That uh, big yeah. Ferris wheel is that the London Eye, or is that just a, a Las Vegas attraction sure. on its own? He, the last time I was in Vegas was with you, and I was. 1995, you were nine years old. Nine? Don't remember anything. So. Almost nine. You were just about to turn nine, yeah. You would remember more than me. I remember quite a bit. And maybe they didn't even have that back then, so. I remember people were handing me pamphlets all the time. It's like New York City. There's a lot of pamphlets. Yeah, different kind of pamphlets different in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, different kind. A little more risque. Uh, this is Maxim. I say legacy. You can pronounce his name how you like. I'd say legacy. I'm going to pronounce it legacy. It's certainly not Legacy. Legacy. But when he had to play every different announcer, uh, he was calling a different thing. So yeah. I'm going to say Legacy. What do you think of this? Okay. Yeah, not bad. Okay. It's a little too red for me. They don't have a lot of red in their jerseys, yeah. so uh, it's quite red. But it's, uh, I believe, um, I, I know you probably haven't seen the movie 300. I have not. It's about Spart Spartans and stuff. Yeah. So the text on the front of his mask represents the same uh, font style uh, that the logo of the movie was in and also the guy on the right of his mask here was in the movie okay um, so that's basically my issue here is the, similar to the one I have with Ottawa they have a centurion people made the comments, as their logo people made the argument in the comments that back in the day um, the senators wore those. My understanding of the senators, being the politician senator, is they wore togas <clears throat> and they walked around in their bare feet or had sandals on or whatever. But yeah. They wore togas. Senators were politicians. Senators were not fighters. But here we have a gladiator type mm -hmm. character once again. That's not a knight. We how can debate you, the senators. How thing. do you know that's not a knight? Well, when I think of a knight, the knight in shining armor. That looks like a knight to me. But he's got that big furry thing on the top there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a Roman centurion looking thing. That's not a knight. I know. I think knights still <clears throat> to wear that. We I'm gotta not. get you into some more Monty Python. We gotta watch some Holy Grail. <laughs> <and> <laughs> see what a knight looks like. Uh, this <clears> is Connor <throat> Hellebuck. I like. Yeah, I do too. Actually, I like. Uh, it looks to be like broken ice. I guess you would mm -hmm. call that. Uh, colors totally match the jersey. Um, and this is the tiny thing, but I like how the center stripe goes back from from the corner of the mask mm -hmm. in parallel to the strap. It doesn't okay. it doesn't fight the strap. It works with the with the angling of the strap. All right. I don't know if that's even on purpose or not, but I like that that flow back like that. Did you notice that the piece of this strap is actually colored to match the edge of the ice? I didn't, but I'm liking it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. And then the last on our list. Last one. Is Michael Hutchinson Hutchinson? So, I believe there's a very famous fan of the Jets who goes to or went to every single game. Oh yes, his name was Croppy. Yeah, and he was a veteran, Leonard Kropioski. And he, he had season tickets, and he went to like every single game. Every ever, like yeah. Uh, CBC did a bunch of 
interviews. I remember someone. those, yeah. yeah. He was 98 years old by the look of things when he finally yeah, so uh, went to his last game. Paying lots of respect here to him, which is really, that really is cool. That is awesome. Uh, I love the almost shiny digital feel of the logo mm -hmm. on the front there and on the top. Yeah. It's a little too white for me, I think, on the top, but... That would look good in, a, in an away jersey. Not, not so yes. sure it would look good in a home jersey. But I'd, I'd be open-minded. I'd wait to see it on the ice and see if I liked it or not. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. No, it's a nice nice touch. Cool. All right, well, it's question time. Yes, you are going to ask me something. Do you think that players should have the ability to have designs on their helmet? Because in other leagues, like, I think it's the EIHL, the top point getter on each team or something oh, like that, yeah. gets to wear this gold helmet. Maybe that's the SHL or... The Liga or whatever, but... Yeah, I, I remember what one of the leagues allows that. But do you think in the NHL, players should be able to be have a bit of personalities on their helmets? My answer is yes, absolutely. As long as it matches the... As long as they're all very similar in color. I, and that's going to be hard to do. I think... I would, I would go this far. That every player should have, you know, a, a toonie-sized or slightly larger zone on the helmet where they can put whatever they want. Hmm. I would be okay with that, but not to do a total, you know, so-and-so's got a helmet like a skull and so-and-so's got a helmet like a bear. Um, I wouldn't want that much diversity on the bench. I just think it would look kind of crazy. But to give each player, whether they want to put their national flag there or a cause that's important to them, mm -hmm. in, a, in a zone. Uh, you can debate the size of the zone, but just a zone back there somewhere where they, when they're lining up for the face-off, you know, the camera's going to catch yep. it and, and let them promote whatever cause or geography they want to promote. I'd be cool with that, but that's about all. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps up uh, this episode of, of Goalie Helmets. And like I said at the beginning, if you haven't seen the first one, the East East uh, Eastern Conference one, definitely go watch that. Hope you made it this far in this one. Uh, we'll definitely be doing this again next season when everyone has all new helmets. So. Yeah, and maybe we'll be using year-old logos <laughs> and <Yeah>. helmets. <laughs> At and least we'll know. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. If you know of a good source, maybe some of the fans know of a really good Man, source. Man, I, really... I searched the depths of the internet to yeah. find current well, you, photos. You yeah. probably looked everywhere then because yeah. you're, you're good at that. But Yeah, anyways, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you can hit the subscribe button and join us here. If you're not subscribed already, that would be awesome. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Adios.